Hello and welcome. This is Sports Debate, where we give you a platform to place your mouth where your passion is, to show off your sport knowledge, and all arguments are spot on. I am Solomon Adjuziogu. The English Premier League is back. And the last time, London side Chelsea beat all contenders to take top spots and lift the trophy. They were followed by Tottenham Hotspur, Manchester City, and then Liverpool in second, third, and fourth. Perennial top four finishers, Arsenal, failed to make it, finishing fifth. All the clubs have fortified their scores. Even Everton and West Brom have fresh cash injections through Chinese takeover, increasing competitiveness, so we ask. With the promise of greater competition in the English Premier League this season, which teams do you think will make the top four this time? And which one of the top four will win the title? That's our topic today. And you can join the discussion at Sporting Solo TVC or at TVC News NG, hashtag TVC Sports Debate. Joining me on the debate podium today are two gentlemen. And uh, it promises to be a tough debate with these two men on the stage today. Babatunde Lawa returns to Sports Debate. Sporting so late. Nice to be here once again. And he's up against Okpeoluwa Adekoye, the quintessential guy. <laughs> it's my pleasure to be here once again. Right. Who makes the top four? And who wins the EPL this time? Okay, first of all, if you say categorically that Tottenham Motspur and Liverpool that made the top for last season will not make the top for this season. Wow. That's my first statement. Next thing we need to know is that the team that will win the English Premier League in the 2017-2018 season is Arsenal. So the trophy stays in London, but this time around it's going to the north part of London, and that is the red part of London, that is Arsenal, as managed by Frenchman coach Arsene Wenger. Hmm. Categorical. <laughs> um, Sporting Solo, I'm surprised by um, Adekonye's statement or his categorical statement, like he just told us. Well, for me, um, I have four teams to finish in the top four this season, and I have Manchester United to finish first, I have uh, Manchester City to finish second, and I have Chelsea to finish third, and I have um, Tottenham Hotspur to finish fourth. And like you mentioned, um, perennial top four finishers, as we know them, as an Arsenal, managed by the Frenchman, like Okwe just told us, as an <laughs> Wenger. Um, I don't see them finishing anywhere, anywhere near top four this season. And if I could advise him, actually, I would tell him to take a cue from Jose Mourinho, you understand, who, through the back door, got into the Champions League this season, you understand, by playing in the Europa League. I think that's the best way, and the only way, actually, at Arsenal, Will qualify for the Champions League next season. Hmm. Did you got that? I got he has the message. Given us the top four. You yes. didn't give us the top four. You Let me give you my two top teams four. That will not make the top two four. teams that will not make it. Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur cannot make the top four this season. That is categorical and is a fact. Mm, so okay. the teams that will make the top four this season: number one, champions, elect Arsenal. Number two, chair book manager Pep Guardiola, Manchester City. Number three, Manchester United, and number four, mm. former champions. They will be replaced by Arsenal, Chelsea. That's your picture perfect top four for the 2017 2018 Premier we'll League season. I think let Okwenu, not former champions. They will be the defending champions, but at the end of the season, by May Present 2018, champions. Chelsea will be Chelsea. fourth on the log. Okay. Categorically. Because we have to look at the additions to the squad, experience of the manager, depth, grit, and desire to get that top spot, top number one spot. The major reason why Chelsea were able to make it to the top spot last season okay. was because they were not in the Champions League. Okay. Two seasons ago, the major reason why Leicester City were able to win the Premier League was because they were not in the Champions League. Hmm. So now, it's in squad, the same link squad that Chelsea has. Hmm. They cannot combine everything very, very well. We know Antonio Conte is a league specialist coach. Okay. That was first season syndrome, and he has won the league. This time around, 
Chelsea will struggle to make it to the top four. But they will finish fourth. Can I, can they will finish can fourth. I but they will make that top four. A, yes, a go ahead. Question. Yes, go ahead. You mentioned that um, the sole reason why Leicester won the, the Premier League, the Premier one League. of the major reasons, one of the major reasons, major reasons. Okay, why they won was because they were not in the Champions League. Yes. And Chelsea did the same. Yes, last year. Yes, because that's my own not, point of view. Because they were not in the Champions League. Exactly. Okay. But I think you need to state categorically that they yes. were not in Europe at all. Arsenal will be in Europe this season. Of <clears> course, <throat> of course. Arsenal will be in Europe. Europe, the, the Europe they will be in the, the Europa League. Competition. Yeah, second tier competition. Yes, Very good. Thank you. So, <clears throat> I don't know how you've come about Arsenal finishing in first position. With, come, come with next the cumbersome because yes, with the cumbersome Europa League, Europa League fixtures. You need to look at the traveling. quality. Hold on, okay. because I've not finished. Come, because okay. I, I've looked at what Arsenal have done this season, or what they've done in the last 10, 15 seasons. They've done nothing different. Last 10, 15 seasons. Yes, because Do you know why last 10, 15 hold seasons on, goes hold back on, to. Hold on, the last time Arsenal won the league. Yes was when they did the Invisibles Thank in 2004. Thank you. So is that to 15 years That's ago? That's 13 years ago. Thank you. Understand? And if you look at what they've done, that was why I said 10, 15 years ago. Okay. Understand? In the last 10 years, you look at what Arsenal have done. Understand? Yes. In the EPL, yes. in the Champions League, yes. in the transfer market, yes. the kind of signings they've made, yes. the kind of um, football they've, they've played, played yes. the kind of um, injections that the manager has made into the team. And you ask yourself, what have they done differently? from what they've been doing. Let me it's put like, this to on, you. Let me put this on. to you. Okay. They've, done, they've done nothing differently. And this season also, you look at what they've done in the transfer market. They've only brought in two players, in Kolasinac and um, Alexander Lacazette. Yes, that guy with a big muzzle. Big like muzzle. Uh, we'll get let me, put, it, let me put this to you and categorically. You check out the players they already have on ground. Barring Alexis Sanchez not living, you understand, that would be a good um, thing for Arsenal, actually. Because all they did the good thing for the good thing they did last season was majorly down to Alexis Sanchez's contribution. So they have to keep Alexis Sanchez. So let's assume they do that, keeping Alexis Sanchez, who wants to leave, as we all know. And you check out what they've also done in the transfer market. You check out the statement that um, Arsene Wenger made a couple of weeks ago, saying that Arsenal are a bigger team than winning trophies. And you ask yourself, as in, what else is the job of the manager other than bringing success? to a team, who, which he did for the first seven, eight years he joined the team, won the EPL, won the FA Cup, and I think he has made it a, um, like you say, oh, a delay these days, you understand, a bet right, winning the FA Cup. They've won three out of the last four. And because the because name Emirates has been attached, attached to it. Is that the reason why they won it? You understand? Maybe. So, Sporty well, Solo. That was, that's the reason why Arsenal won the FA Cup. They seem to win Emirates, anything that has anything Emirates. Anything that has Emirates. So, so they did not participate. They, 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 other clubs did not participate. They, they just they won the Emirates Cup. Arsenal to just yeah, win yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And you ask yourself, a team that only won one game. Sevilla won two games. But a team that won one game still won the Emirates So I need to ask me a question because you've you just said about five statements. You've not put it in a question format. Okay. As challenging why Arsenal will win the league. So what is your own major point that they will not win the league? I just told you that I just told you that Arsenal have done nothing differently. Okay, let me let me let me take you up on that. Let me take you up on that. Okay. 2015-2016 league season, who yes. would have thought that a certain Leicester City who were battling relegation the previous season would have won the Premier League? Okay. Why do you think If you had gone to ask any magician in the world Leicester won Wait, the I'm coming. That season. I'm coming. Okay. If you are going to ask any magician in the world, yes. any prophet, any pastor, mm. nobody would have predicted that Leicester City would make the top four. Talk less of winning the Premier League. They had a monk. So why would you say they we won't ask a pastor? If you had, had asked had anybody, monk. thank you, a Gary <laughs> traditionally, monk. the they monk they did not come out to tell us that. Priests. Mm. The monk did not come out to tell us that they win the league. And why did they win the league the next season? That's okay. what I'm trying to ask you now. Okay. Okay. You can't just say that because Arsenal has not done it in the last 10 years that okay. they will not win the league. Leicester City were battling relegation. As a matter of fact, mm. before the season they were battling relegation, they were coming from the lower league and they came to the league, survived, and were able to win the Premier League. Okay. So what do you mean by Arsenal not done it in the last 10 years? That, that's your own point out to the fact that they will not win the league. Hold on. One out of um, a million. Yes, sir, because these things happen in football, okay. where you see a football club a battled relegation, as in the following season, come out to win. One out of a million, you understand? This same Leicester City that you talked about finished what position this season? The 
the important point is that you understand. The season, nobody it's... expected them to win the league. Okay. They won the Premier League. They won the, the Premier season League. Season where nobody expected Arsenal to win the Premier League. Yes. They are winning the 2017-2018. Well, I think Okpe Okpe is talking as in it, as is it sentimental? It's not sentimental. Mm. Maybe we maybe, can back it up with squad, squad quality. I think that's we can back it up with the experience doing. of the manager. We okay. can back it up with the quality of the team okay. and how they are going to improve from finishing fifth last season okay. to winning the league next season. Okay, let me take a play up. I think he, he has mentioned three vital things now. Yes, the yes. experience of the manager, yes. the quality Asin of Wenger. the team. Professor Asin Wenger. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> the quality of the team yes. and how they would transform finishing fifth, fifth last season to first, to first exactly. this season. Experience of the manager, as Wenger has been at Arsenal for how many years now? 20 years and counting. 20 years and counting. There's only one Asin Wenger. Hold on now. Yes. Wait, ah, why is your... So go straight to your points. Okay. Time what I'm trying factor. to ask you is that, now, you said the experience of the manager. Yes. But the experience of the manager has not won them the league in 13 years. Yes, So why do you think that same experience will win them the league this year? Because if you count on experience, yes. Antonio Conte, had no experience in the Premier League, and came league. last season and won the league. You understand? And there's been so many um, situations where people have said, where Rooney just left Manchester United for Everton, spent how many years at Old Trafford? Like 13 years, you understand? Where Rooney has won five Premier, Premier League trophies, trophies. Yes. went back to Everton and as a, a certain as a Wenger still not won any. And he has experience, in quotes, you understand? And now, you look at um, the experience or the quality, quality of, of the, the team. team, of the squad, the Hold totality on. of the squad. If you, if you look around the teams, a Chelsea that won the league has done two, um, assigned two new players yes. into the team. Yes, yes. And they've been able to keep the core of the team that won them the league yes. last season, yes. you understand? Though I feel that the um, Champions League, their participation in Champions League this season yes. might hamper them a bit. I did say then that already. I also so think that the only you know, that, that, is, that is why I feel that Chelsea won't win the league. Like because I said, that Chelsea will finish third this okay. season. Okay. And I have Manchester City to finish second because the quality of the players Manchester City have brought in. A checkbook manager. Hold on. Inspired by a checkbook manager. Well, that is that is what makes football tick these days. We've seen Neymar move for 200 million pounds. So that is what makes the world go round actually. Okay, okay. So why I will have Manchester City to finish second actually and not first is because I feel they have too many um, new injections which I feel might unstable the team and it might take them a little while to get going in the league, especially since they also have the Champions League to contend with. And why I have Manchester United to finish first, yes. actually, is because you look at the kind of signings that Mourinho has made this season. Yes. They have signed two players out of three who have Premier League experience. A certain Nemanja Matic has been brought in. A Lukaku okay. has been brought in. Okay. And if you look at Mourinho's history, Mourinho has never failed to deliver a league title at the second time of asking anywhere he has managed all over Europe. Okay. So that's how I have Manchester United you, to you, finish you. first. You have made okay. your point. Yeah. Thank you. But Okpe will um, make his own point. Okay. But that will be in the second half of the show. So I hope you have taken note of all the points, the points. he has marshaled. Yes. So that when we come in the second half, then you will be able to attack them. Well, the topic here is which teams will finish in the top four of the English Premier League? And then which one of the top four finishers will finish at top? the league and win the trophy. Baba Tunde Lawa here says Manchester United will win it. Yeah. Man City will come second. Yes. And then Chelsea will come third. And then Tottenham Hotspur will come fourth. Yes. But Okpa Oluwa Adekonye disagrees. He says Liverpool and, and Tottenham will not make the top four. Exactly. But then Arsenal will win it. And then, uh, which other team you Manchester talked about? City, Manchester, Manchester City, United, Manchester United. Manchester United. Chelsea will be fourth. And then Chelsea will be fourth. Exactly. But who do you think will finish in the top four? And who do you think will win the English Premier League this time? You can contribute to this debate by sending your tweets to me at Sporting Solo TVC or at TVC News NG, hashtag TVC Sports Debate. It is still sports debate with me, Solomon Adjizugu. And the topic we are looking at today is on the Premier League, the English Premier League. 
which team will win it and which teams will finish in the top four. Babatunde Lawal says that Manchester United will win it. Manchester City will come second. Yeah. Chelsea will come so, third. Yeah, and Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur, Hotspur will come fourth. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> but Okpe Oluwade Konye yes. says Arsenal will win it. Champions elect. Right? Yes. Manchester City, City chair book manager second. will come second. Runners up. Manchester United third. will come third. And Chelsea, Chelsea fourth. will come fourth. That's what Okpe Oluwade Konye here says. But what do you think? Who do you think will win the English Premier League 2017-2018? And which teams will finish in the top four? You can let me know by sending your tweets to me at Sporting Solo TVC or at TVC News NG, hashtag TVC Sports Debate. Now, you had of all his points. Yes. And you have a counter to all the points he has made. Yes. Let's talk about the firepower of the attack of your squad, of Manchester United. OK. Now, when you look at Manchester United, yeah. when they add the dead to Zlatan Ibrahimovic, there mm -hmm. to Zlatan Ibrahimovic, mm -hmm. they could still make the top four. They finished sixth in the league. Okay. Now, they now brought in a certain Romelu Lukaku. Sorry, can I quickly counter that? Why let do me you set think to the point. Let me set to the point. Let him settle the okay. point. Let me set to that point. Okay. They now brought in a certain Romelu Lukaku. Okay. The same thing. No, he's not as good as Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And he does not have that fair factor. So, is he with Romelu Lukaku, okay. Marshall, and Rashford, okay. and the pragmatic Jose Mourinho that they want to win the league? Whereby Jose Mourinho tells you that all his players must be defensive minded. That is why a player like Marshall and Rashford could not get double digits of goals in the previous season. Okay. So how would they win the league with that kind of firepower? Now compare that to Arsenal that has a certain Alexander Lacazette in the front, okay. Olivier Giroud with Alexis, um, Alexis and Mesut mm. That is a team that plays attacking fluid football and the goals can come in left, right or centre. Okay. Your point. Okay. I would like Romelu to ask Lukaku. you. Hold on. I would yes. like to ask you. And I'm sure you know that a certain Romelu Lukaku yes. scored more EPL goals yes. than Zlatan Ibrahimovic last season. How did, that's on. none of my business. Hang on. Okay. And if you would like to know that yes. one of the major reasons why Manchester United failed to finish yes. in the top four last season yes. was because Mourinho decided, decided. decided okay. to concentrate more Oh. On the Europa League. Oh, and nice. I also nice. want so to remind you that, that United, a yes. certain United, yes. went 25 games unbeaten yes. last season. Doing what? The league. Across Hold on. Hold on. Draw, Hold on. draw, draw, Hold on. draw, yes. draw, draw. Drawing so many the, matches. The process. Drawing so many matches. Yes. Which is the reason why he has brought in a Lukaku to actually sort that out. Turning I point, one I point it to into you. three points. And now, you ask me, or is you Lukaku mentioned... Is Lukaku better than Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Hold on, hold on. It's not, Zlatan. It's, not, it's not about being better. Someone that conquered you know, Spain, a certain, conquered Italy, a certain, so many a certain countries. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is 35 yes. going to 36, yes. you understand? Yes. And a certain Romelu Lukaku is 24 years old, you understand? Who you have yes. as in more years ahead of him, you yes. understand? That shows you that United are thinking forward rather than sticking to a Zlatan, Baba, so you, who let you me know. Make a point Hold quickly. on. Let now, you, make a you, point. you mentioned the firepower of Arsenal. Arsenal yes. And I, I look at all the players you've mentioned. Like Azette, apart seven from, goals hold on, last hold on. Season. Apart from your Alexis Sanchez, who yes, I mentioned, goals, all the good season. things for Arsenal did last season yes. was down to Alexis Sanchez. Majorly, goals, majorly, majorly, majorly. And Arsenal still failed to finish in the top four. Yes. Now, the only addition you brought in to that firepower is a certain, goals, hold on, a certain Alexander, Alexander Lacazette or whatever you call it. You understand? And playing in the French league. You understand? Where coming did Ibrahimovic to, come from? Coming to England. Can you compare Ibrahimovic to Lacazette? Where did Ibrahimovic let's come not, from? Let's, let's not they go there. They were in the league together let's for some seasons. Let's not go there. What I'm saying is, Alexander Lacazette will guarantee you goals. Fine. More than 30 in, in a season. Well, in all competitions. Even, even if it guarantees you 30 in all yes. competitions, yes. all I'm saying is that for what Arsenal have done yes. in the transfer market, yes. you understand, and the rigors of playing in the Europa League, it would be too immense and too strenuous for most of these players to be able to compete and win in the league. You because, see, this is why Arsenal is not Manchester United. Okay. There's something called squad depth. There's okay. something called... Squad so, are you depth. telling me that the Arsenal, Arsenal has a better squad depth than Manchester United? Exactly. I, are and you kidding Bonino me? Mourinho is a pragmatic coach can that you... can lead a team like Manchester United to the league title. How? Then let me give you another point How? before you 
further on that. Okay. Romelu Lukaku is a player that will only shine when he plays as a, a small team, whereby he's the only target man and nobody's competing with him. We saw him at Chelsea, he flopped categorically. Okay. They tried to bring him back, he flopped categorically. Okay. But then he went to West Brom, okay. the only target man, he was scoring the goals, okay. fine. He went to Everton, the only target man, he was scoring the goals. Okay. When he comes to Manchester United, it's a bigger club, supposedly. And supposedly. there is more pressure okay. for you to okay. deliver. Okay. That is to say, if you can't score in the first two, three, four, five matches, mm. there will be a problem. And that's we know happened to him in Chelsea. It's going to happen to him again in Manchester United. Under the same, you say, well, you know, large well, confidence in him. Well, okay. How will he fire them okay. to the league okay. title? Okay. I would like to correct you on that. Yes. For the fact that a player does not score a goal in his first five matches, yes, yes. it brings pressure. You yes. Understand? But in a club like Manchester United, Understand. Yes. As in, there are other players around him. Who are the other players around him? So many. Who? Rashford, See, I can, Anthony I can, Martial. I can, Is that how you win the league? Hold Is that on. why they finished this last season? Hold on. I can tell you that a certain Henry Mkhitaryan. How many goals last season? Will come good for Manchester United. Will United's come good when? 2020? Season. When Jesus Christ hold comes on. back? This season. When? Because last season, yes. he battled injuries. His Who's first, biggest? Hold on. His first game for Manchester United was against Manchester City. Okay. Understand? And where he failed to perform. Thank understand? God you knew that. So it took a toll on him. Okay. See, I can, if I like to remind you, yes. a certain parties, Evra yes. eh, and yes. Nemanja Vidic yes. joined Manchester Glory United. Days. Hold on. And their first game, their first game yes. was against Manchester City. As well, okay. You understand? So we are and for they books. failed to perform. You understand? Okay. But eventually, these guys came good for Manchester United. I am telling you now of what we've seen of Henrik yes. Mkhitaryan. There's no doubt the guy has talent. There's no doubt the guy scores goals. It's not a fluke for you to score over 20 league goals and make assists in the Bundesliga. That for was Dortmund. two seasons ago. Hold on, hold on. So what I'm saying is, and yes. you mentioned that you say Mourinho is a pragmatic, pragmatic coach who tells coach. you that you have to defend. I don't know where he got that from because is he that coach. A... Hold on, he coached a certain Real Madrid, finished with a hundred points for the first time, which had never been done in the league, and scored a lot of goals. Because he had a certain Hold Cristiano on. Ronaldo. Hold on. There are Hold differences on. in that. Okay. Anybody with Ronaldo as mm. his player okay. will score over 100 goals in the league. Okay. He's certain. Okay. Ronaldo scores 50 what, goals what, what every What about Mourinho's first coming at um, Chelsea? That's glory old days. That's what I'm talking about. That he's a pragmatic okay. What about the second look coming it. also? Look where he won the league? Let me Where explain the, the decline of Jose Moreno for you. Okay. When Jose Moreno has a decline, it's very, very landslide. It's very it's going to be a landslide. Mm. Look at it this season. This okay. way. Mm. When he was at Chelsea, he, okay. when he came back in the second first season, he did not yeah. win the second league season, mm. he won the league. Yes. Then the other season where he took them to 16th and he had to be sacked because of Leicester City. Okay. That is the worst kind of decline. Now look at him when Manchester United. Mm. He finished sixth in his first season mm. and he was happy to be winning the EFL Cup and Europa League. That is the kind of coach that you have Manchester United. He's, a, he's not. Europa League he's on the uh, Manchester United coach. had never won in their history. That is what I I'm trying to say about Jose Mourinho. Mm. All these small trophies, mm. if, um, EFL, it small can do trophies. well there. You call the but Europa the major things now. You call the Europa League. The major small thing now, the Premier League. Why did you call at the Manchester moment. United supposedly big team? Supposedly, that's how it's meant to you guys. Right, Mourinho, a man who has won. He's a declining coach. In two different countries. He's a declining coach. I don't know where Okpe is coming from. You understand? Look what? at Pep Guardiola. To, to win the Look league. Look at Pep Guardiola, Manchester City. The same, mm. same team. Mm. He could not take the he struggled to be Champions League with mm. and Champions League. Mm. The same thing was what Pe Pellegrini took the Champions League semi-finals and won the EFL trophy. That is what a good coach gives you. No, Pep Guardiola I, I, is a checkbook manager. He can't lead them beyond third. Jose Mourinho, the same team, pragmatic and is on a decline as a coach. He can't I, lead them beyond second. Calling Manchester United a supposedly big club. Yes. Calling Jose Mourinho a, a coach, coach on the most decline. most valuable club in the world. Hold on. Decline. Hold on. Ah. Hold on. I have Manchester United winning the league solely because they've brought in a Nemanja Matic who won the league. The first Hold on. The league. Who won the league with Hold Chelsea on. last season? Yes. Chelsea did something similar, bringing in Kante from Leicester City, you understand, to strengthen the team. So why I feel Manchester United will win the league is because they have the best squad right now to win the league and a manager who understands the premiership or if i can call him the proven one in the okay. premiership out of all the managers well that's the point i'm not sure you have any other thing i to have add. other points to add but you have 30 seconds just 30 less Arsenal than 30 seconds is winning actually. the league because they have a better squad the experienced manager on the resurgence and because they have this um the squad depth required to go through the, the august to January of the next year to win the English Premier League. Sporting Solo, can I quickly right. say something? No, there is nothing no, else to No, I need to, to say add. something. <laughs> there is nothing else to We need to bring dictionary whenever we are coming out. Up. Resurgence. Well, you have had wow. the argument by Babatunde Lawal and Okpa Oluwa Konye. The topic today has been which teams will make the 
English Premier League top four, which teams will finish top four at the end of the 2017-2018 league season, and which one of the top four will win it. Babatunde Lawal says Manchester United will win it. Yes, win. Then their city rivals, Manchester City, will come second. Nice. Chelsea will come third, and Spurs will come fourth. Yes, definitely. But our friend Okpa Elua Adekonye differs. He says Arsenal will win it. As he's yes. by Asim Wenga. Resurgent. Okay. Resurgent. Manchester yes. City will come second. Check book manager Pep Guardiola. Then Chelsea will come fourth. Yes. Yes, exactly. And then which Manchester team? United will finish and Manchester third. United will come third. That is what Okpa said. <laughs> well, what do you say? You can contribute to our debate by sending your tweets to me at Sporting Solo TVC or at TVC News NG hashtag. TVC Sports a bit. Until we come your way again next time, enjoy the rest of your day.